here. There we go. Okay, so uh, what does Sinky do? We, we are trying to, to transform the trade promotions world. Right now we spend, as a uh, set of marketers globally, about a half a trillion dollars where companies are trying to promote their products through resellers of some sort. And the utilization of that dollar is declining. The value of that spend is worsening every year. Uh, due to two reasons. One is people are now using the web more, they're shopping less in the newspapers and uh, um, dollars off coupons, things like this are less and less effective. Uh, and in fact, if you look, over 70% of that money spent doesn't return a positive ROI. Think about that. It's a half a trillion dollars. That's real money. <laughs> real money. And uh, that's the market that we're going after. You could buy the UK for that. So if, if we want to fix that, we have to make sure that good promotion shows where it should. And if you look at companies like, like Apple and others are now starting to use the web to communicate more emotionally, more persuasively, more expressively, and yet when you see that same product <laughs> in an e-commerce experience, it is like a inventory management system that is customer facing. It's not an emotional, expressive uh, experience. And in fact, what's happening is the commoditization of brands through retail. And this commoditization is really harming these brands. We're spending a half a trillion dollars to persuade shoppers to buy. So you say, well, maybe, maybe this is just Best Buy. Maybe Amazon <laughs> or somebody else is doing it right. The problem is that Amazon is, uh, isn't really doing it much better. Um, if, you, if you look, I'll just show you for, for grins. This is Amazon. Oh, hold on. <laughs> that part was not replicated. Okay. So let me see if I can make this fit. Okay. This is Amazon. 2005. Okay, you got the picture of the product. You've got um, uh, some some features and text down below. You have forgive me this uh, this monitor is very low res. Um, you've got some images and some text uh, describing the product. Okay, this is now. You've got a picture of the product. You've got uh, some text specs, you've got some images and text. Eleven years later, nothing's really changed. Um, let's just take a look at, this is, uh, I, I was using the Wayback Machine, this is actually uh, um, Walmart uh, ten years ago, picture of the product, text specs, a little bit of a table. Um, uh, that's basically it. You look today, Walmart now, picture of the product, some tech specs. Nothing, Nothing has changed. Merchants reinvesting in their business every day. It's, it's, it's insane. Um, this was Best Buy 10 years ago, basically the same as today. Okay? <laughs> so you can understand uh, what's happening today is um, uh, Amazon is actually um, behaving very monopolistically. And I've not met anybody who's working with, with Amazon who says, oh, it's just a pleasure. <laughs> okay? So the second option is you can go with Google. But 40% of all retail traffic comes from Google. Think about it. When I was a kid, we used to get the Sears catalog. You shopped for the products you wanted to buy at the retail. To Toys R Us did this later on. Now, the dis product discovery is being done by Google. 
And Google is charging a tax for every retailer because the customers are visiting 15 to 20 websites now before they buy, and every time they're paying for that ad back and forth through Google to go to the next retailer, it's a tax. And it just, that money adds up very, very quickly. We said there's got to be a better way. What if we could hyper-focus the message that we understood the shopper, that we could deliver the right message at the right time natively on the content side of the page, deliver an experience that's highly personalized, we think that we can solve this problem and that's why we created Sinky. Our goal is to create amazing shopping experiences for every shopper with every product everywhere. And we do this through four steps. One is we want to be able to tell a deeper story about the product, an experiential story. We want to be able to put that anywhere on that shopper journey. In Jeff's example, they're more likely now to go online for the first half of that, that product discovery phase. They're self-shopping. We need to be able to make sure they're getting the content they need everywhere they shop. And we want the content to be controlled by the brand so that that information is always current, it's always accurate, it's always reflecting the brand story, and do it in a way that really has impact. The best way to think about us is if you understand the notion of POP, if you understand the notion of an in-store display, it has real impact. We're bringing that experience into the digital domain. Now, you have this uh, shopper's journey and there's an in-store experience and there's also a pre-store experience. And uh, I can show you how Sinky is working in those domains. I'll just do a couple examples now and I can do more uh, later. Um, okay. Okay, why is this not? Hold on, forgive me here. So do move that out. Move that in. Or try to move that. Forgive me, this is a VGA display. It's a little small. Okay, so let's take an example here. This is a product listing. This is Generax, a customer of ours. This is one of Generax dealers. When a page loads, the way Sinky works is we sniff the page, and if we see if there's a product we have information on, we dynamically add the content to the product page. In this case, it's a product listing. So right now, we're delivering real product information about that. We can actually have a calculator to how you um, pick it, it can include videos, whatever, and all of this is done dynamically, there's no human intervention. Uh, notice that even though this is Generac, we don't have a Generac content related to this product, only to this one, and we're dynamically sniffing that on the fly. We can also deliver this on a product detail page, so the same content is showing up on the product detail page. Uh, we're getting 10, 12, 13% click-through rates. Not a tenth of a percent, not one percent, ten percent. Which is amazing when you, when you compare it, but not amazing when you think about it. These are people actually looking for the product. Right. The product's the right information at the right time, presented in a way that's actually useful. Um, couple, this is just the same thing on a different retailer. This is AP Electric instead of uh, International Tool. Um, it's laid out in a different way. For each retailer, we can put it in the right place for that retailer. Um, uh, this is an example of a dealer website for Toshiba. Um, and so it can work on an independent dealer website. Works just like a, a YouTube embed code. But the cool thing is you can update that. You own now the real estate across your dealer network. So we have, I don't know, 200, 300, 200, I think. Uh, Toshiba dealers. Um, uh, Toshiba makes a change and all 200 dealers have the same updated information instantaneously across the network. Um, so I have many more demos that I can show uh, after. Um, and I can show you also uh, demonstrations of how we work uh, before you get to the store. Because especially in a B2B world, there's a lot of behavior, a lot of shopping that happens beforehand. We engage all those digital touch points. 
You can think about what we're doing is creating a promotion amplification platform. What we do is we take content you already have, curate it together, and stream it as a live stream, active stream, from multiple places to multiple places. And we can stream things from multiple companies into a single place, and we do that without any human intervention. Once it's up and running, it's all autonomic. And this is where the joy comes in for the sales team that generally spend about 10% of their efforts getting their dealers and their retailers to put the right product information on the site. Um, what kind of results are we getting? Uh, with Country Clock, Croc, we've got an almost 300% increase in the convert rate. Um, we're getting uh, Kenwood, Sirius, others, we're getting that 10, 12% engagement rate. Uh, on product listing, we're getting 20% engagement rates. Uh, in PR and in blogs and in other things, we're getting 20, 30, 40% click-through rates. Why? Because it's contextually relevant. It's actually what they want to know. It's not that people hate to click. They hate to click on things that don't matter, that are irrelevant to the time and place. So what makes us different? We provide different kind of content in different kinds of places than what's existing today. We actually partner with the publishers. Think about us as a native um, platform. Right now, a retailer sells an end cap. We allow them to sell this digital space. It fits their mental model of how the retailers actually work. Um, we actually work with people like you guys. We work with agencies. We work with other technology companies. They're our friends and our partners. We, we don't compete against them. We don't want to be in the creative business. We're, we see ourselves as a plumbing company. We sell the pipes. You guys create the campaign. Make, you know the customer. Every customer is different. Every, uh, every project is different. We're never going to scale if we do that. So we partner instead of compete. And um, we have a different worldview. We believe that the brand should look good and the brand site that you're on, the retailer's brand, should also look good. You have to balance those two needs and our technology allows you to have both a good uh, um, consumer brand for, oh, I didn't even show uh, any of the, uh, uh, the, the Safeway stuff. Um, uh, if we have time, I can, I can show you that. But, uh, you know, how do you make it look like it belongs to Safeway, but be scaled across a bunch of different retailers, where the content you create, you create once, and is populated against different retailers, and each retailer experience looks unique, but you control it with one brand experience. So it's scalable. Uh, right now, you have, if you've got two or three hundred retailers, you have to work with two or three hundred systems, and you can't do that with digital. It doesn't work. Uh, just hang one second, and then we'll, we'll do questions. Um, we, we have the ability to do personalization, and we do personalization in a very unique way. We actually know about the site we're on. We can actually detect things. So for example, with Safeway, we did a Unilever project where Unilever owns Hellman's on the East Coast and Best Food in the West Coast. We actually can sniff which store location it was, right. and based upon the store location, which content to deliver. So we know about the location, not only about the consumer, but we also can do things like make queries to databases. Like imagine you have a recipe engine and you want to deliver recipes in real time related to the product that it's related to. But we also have the notion of understanding the consumer and this consumer is allergic to peanuts so don't show the recipe that has peanuts in it. That kind of level of personalization is very doable with syncing. We see this as a win-win-win technology. The consumers get a fantastic brand experience. The brands get to tell their story at the moment of truth uh, in the P&G terminology, shelf back or store back. It starts at the store, and the retailers get to keep people on their site, shopping less cross-site, get a shorter path to purchase, and end up with a higher revenue, both in terms of selling the real estate and in terms of close rate. For us, this is, as a startup, this is an enormous, enormous opportunity. Billions and billions of touch points we can do, which we monetize. And uh, just two quick slides on us. Um, we're a SaaS company. Uh, we're on a thousand sites now. We're generating millions of page views a month. We've raised four million. We're going to go back and raise another uh, five to ten uh, in the fall. Um, we've got a bunch of patents that we filed, and 
we're working with a uh, really, really tier one group of customers. Uh, so that's uh, a quick overview of Sinky. Super.